You trying to do nice things for a girl while you're in the friend zone is rarely gonna get you out of the friend zone. And I think this clip demonstrates that perfectly. So today we're gonna watch a comedian. His name is Akash Singh. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Very, very funny guy. And in this clip, you're gonna see him talking to three people in the crowd, two of which are coworkers. One's a man and one's a woman. And as you'll be able to see from this clip, this guy is strictly in the friend zone. And yet he's trying to do things that as a friend seems to be going beyond friendship levels and into like, the levels that say, I like this person, I potentially want to date them. So let's get into it. And then how do you three know each other? What's your race, dude? Indian. Indian, okay. What are you doing tagging along with these two? <laughs> oh, that's your sister, you're Punjabi. Oh, and then this is her man. No. Oh, all right. Hey. So look how quick she was to say no. And I'm sure you've probably experienced this before where, you know, you're hanging out with a girl for a long time. And when you guys go places, people will say, hey, are you two together? Or hey, is that your boyfriend? Is that your girlfriend? And, you know, guys will just be like, oh, no, 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 we're just friends. But girls will come out, no, oh, no, no, definitely not. No, he's not, he's not the boyfriend, not at all, no. I always felt like, why you gotta bleed like that? Like you could just say, no, it's, we're just friends to be cool, but they wanna like definitively let people know, no, you are not the boyfriend. And I always found that a little bit insulting because girls wouldn't like it if we were just like, oh God, ugh, no, God, no, she's just my sister. Like they, they just wouldn't like that. Anyway. Hey, can I be honest? The way she said that hurt my feelings. <laughs> that was a lot. That was unnecessary. That really, that really fucking hurt. Dude, I felt, I've been you and that shit hurts. <laughs> Yes, we, we've all been that guy that has heard our, our female friend that we had a crush on be like, ugh, no. And we're like, okay, you could have just said no without the uh. I mean, she said the fuck out of that no. If you were Indian, I'll try to make this happen, but you're not, so why piss off her parents? But <laughs> you're a good boy. I, I swore y'all were together because I was like, there's no way he's this comfortable around her unless they're a couple. So just for you guys out there that are, you know, wondering if when you have a crush on a female friend, if you're doing a good enough job being able to hide your interest. For one, I can assure you, the rest of the world is looking at you and how you're interacting with this girl and are thinking, oh no, he definitely likes her. But more importantly, usually the women that you're crushing on, that you think you're doing a good job of just hiding your interest and that they, they are seeing that you're only treating them as a friend, they also kind of sort of feel and know that you like them. But women are great at like, as long as it's not going said, like as long as he's not saying out loud that he likes me, we can still play this facade of, you know, we don't know that, we, that he likes me and that I'm just his friend because let's be real, women are gonna try to get resources from you and they're also gonna use you for if they need like male strength jobs and for attention. And so you have female friends right now that you're crushing on that know that you like them that are probably just being like, well, he hasn't said anything. He's not bold enough to make that move. So I'll just keep him around for whatever purpose. And women will do that, you know? And if you wanna blame women for that, you can do that. But guy, this is why if you have a crush on a female friend of yours, you should not be trying to be her friend. You should be trying to, at the very least, ask her out on a date and see what's what. Because then at least you'd know. At least if you try to ask her out and she's like, oh, I'm not whatever, then you would know, okay, let me move my attention elsewhere. But we guys get tricked into like, you know, not even tricked. We have a, a need to feel needed by women in our lives, whether we're dating them or not. But not being able to be needed, for some reason, that is the thing that bugs the crap out of us. So you have female friends that you like that won't date you, but you're like, oh, but I can still be useful guy. And that is, that is satisfying a need that you have. But that does not mean you should be doing that, especially if you're trying to actually want to date the woman. Anyway. Being a fucking, oh, okay, good. Can you do me a favor and just cut this friendship off? <laughs> I'm not, not, and you're not even doing me a favor, you're doing him a favor. Real talk, he's giving actual legit solid advice. He should totally cut this off if he's interested. Because again, I've been this guy. Look, I say this as a faithful man. You're a beautiful girl, it's objective. You're a decent looking guy, but this, this bitch wasting your time. You can go get somebody else. You know what I mean? She's not into you. He has 20 others. Okay, so. There's a few things going on here, right? So she's saying, oh, no, 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 no. It's not that I, I wouldn't necessarily date him, but just like, oh, he's got 20 other women he's dating. Now, that could be true. 
He could be have all these other chicks on the side, or that could not be true. She could be thinking, well, he's not asking me out because he's probably got a bunch of other chicks. Either way, she's putting this story out. Now, you might think, but then wouldn't that mean that he potentially has a shot with her if he's dating all these other chicks because it makes him look more interesting and blah, 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 blah. And here's the thing, is that whether that's true or not, the point is he's not currently making any moves to ask her out, so there's limbo here. But he's also causing confusion because he's not asking her out, and so she's not thinking maybe he's interested, but then they're at a club and they're doing things that indicate to the world that they're probably together, but he's not pulling the trigger. Meanwhile, all indications from the comedian are that he's interested in her and he's trying to play it like, no, 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 we're just friends and this whoever, but look what's about to happen next. I just detected interest, dude. I think you might have a shot. She said that like it bothered her. Wow, wow. Wow, you are back in the game. I had no idea. <laughs> what? And again, that could technically be true or not, because again, the fact that she's brought it up so quick, it could mean that on some level, she's kind of sort of jealous of the attention he's potentially giving other women, but that still doesn't necessarily mean that she would date him, if that makes sense, you know? What a fucking thing, who knew? What kind of brother are you, dog? You better be sitting in between these two motherfuckers. You a shitty ass brother. You know this man got horny intentions with your sister and you just letting them sit shoulder to shoulder? You ain't shit. Are you out of your mind? I this guy's the king of calling people out, by the way. I love his stuff. I'm living. I got a sister, cousin, but you know Indians don't do any different. That's the same. If I saw a guy sitting this shoulder to shoulder to her and he didn't make six figures, I'd be in between them so fucking fast. You out of your goddamn mind. <laughs> This chick is already looking at his stats in terms of what he makes at the job. Again, these are technically positive things, but if he's not willing to pull the trigger to risk the friendship or, you know, in this case, they work together, so maybe he's not trying to risk the job. But either way, like, he's still going to comedy clubs with her and spending all this time with her, so to not be trying to do stuff with her, that's a little suspect. Hold on, what kind of six are we talking? A healthy six or like a, you know, like 101? Because with inflation, with inflation, that ain't the same as it used to be. I just gotta say. I know we're in Greenville, but uh, I have a feeling 100K what it used to be here either. It's her birthday? Do you get her something for her birthday? Would you? I do. Okay, so again, not currently dating. They're just out having a good time. I'm guessing he probably also paid for her to go to this comedy club. Maybe her brother did. We're not sure. But the point is, it's her birthday, and he got her a gift. I want to see it. And by the, he took a picture of it on his phone. Again, this is, these are all like indicators that he's definitely interested in not making a move. Oh, he got you flowers. You know what? I do this for my friends all the time. <laughs> and a gift basket? Are you out of your fucking mind pretending this is friendship? You just got a whole cosmetic gift basket. This is okay, I'm gonna wrap back on that part right here so we can see exactly what he got her. Hold on a second here. Are you out of your fucking mind pretending this is friendship? You just got a whole cosmetic gift basket. Okay, look at that. He done got her a whole gift basket, and he's got her, I'm, 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 so right here is the gift basket right here, and then there's a whole set of flowers. This, this dude got her two gifts, and he got her the kind of gifts that a boyfriend would give, a, a gift basket, a thing of flowers. Now, he probably tried to play this like, oh, no, 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 no. I just, I just know that, you know, girls typically like flowers, and so it's the same gift I would get for any of my female friends. But that is a bold-faced lie. We all know he would not do that. He would not get her flowers that look like, I think those are red roses. This see. is crazy. Look at this. Beauty products all over this motherfucker. Look, y'all see this bouquet? This shit is a fuck. Look at that. Red roses. We all know, even if you're dumb, that red roses mean are, are the I love you flowers. So this, so this guy in this friendship is taken out to a comedy club front row seats, got her the really nice gift basket, and got her roses with other sets of white flowers. These are all things that are nice things to do for women that it, it actually on, on a subconscious level and really a really obvious level indicate romantic feelings of some type. And women are great, again, men will chase women all day and give them things. And women know how to play it off as like, oh, he's just being nice. No, he just thought of me for my birthday and he's just being friendly. They've learned the language of being able to play that off and not give any indication that they think that you're giving this gift 
with the intention of trying to show romantic feelings, even though they also know that's what's going on. But again, they're able to play the game of, if I act like this isn't a romantic gesture, then it's not a romantic gesture, and I don't have to act like he's trying to romance me. Do, 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 do. We can keep our friendship. And you the, this is a funeral mom this bitch got. This is a funeral arrangement. Look at that. I'm gonna throw the phone back. You got it? Decent coordination. That's good. So yeah, so as you can see guys, so this is an example of things that you as a guy have probably done before, whereby you've had a crush on a female friend and you've been doing things, you've been coming to her house to console her about things, you've helped her carry furniture, you've helped her fix something in her house, you've taken her out to dinner just to be a nice person, or if she has a birthday coming up and she's single, you've gone out to celebrate with her, or you've gotten her gifts like this, and you're doing it all in the guise of, I'm just trying to show her that I'm a good friend. But you know you're actually doing that because you're trying to build up good guy points and you're hoping if you build up enough good guy points she's gonna one day sit down and analyze all those good guy points that you've been racking up and say huh he took me to lunch he listens to me we talk about stuff that i care about all the time blah blah, blah. you know what oh my god he's actually trying to romance me and i think he's yep he's earned enough points to be able to be my boyfriend and for me to have feelings for him and that's not typically the way this goes. The reality is, yes, it is possible to be friends with a woman and somehow get out of the friend zone, but that pathway is not, is not filled with you doing a bunch of nice stuff in the hopes that she'll see that and realize analytically that she must feel things for you now because you've done all this stuff. And too many guys get into the game of, I'm gonna do nice things and be rewarded for it with romance and hookups and a long-term relationship. And the reality is women do not owe you that if anything the things this guy is doing for this girl those are things that she would get after she's earned it by spending time with him by being able to show on her end that she's willing to do things for him as well and then at the point that you guys get into a relationship that's when the rewards come the flowers the candy the extra attention on birthdays and holidays but you guys want to potentially give that up early thinking again that if you show it early you're trying to show off now what you'd be like as a boyfriend but women don't want to experience you as a boyfriend until she's made the decision that she likes you enough to want you to be her boyfriend and so unfortunately for this guy like yeah he's stuck in the friend zone she may think oh he's got 20 or so other girls but the reality is even if he didn't she wouldn't currently be interested because she's already reaping benefits from him as a result of just being a friend why would she want to now ruin that by turning that into a relationship messing it up and then not getting those benefits so for you guys out there that have fallen for this trap before hey i've been there too i've been the guy that had female friends that i was doing all the nice things for while they were out bumping up with Chad and Tyrone that weren't doing a darn thing for them because they understood, those guys understood, that it's not about the things you're doing for her. It's about how you make her feel. And how you make her feel isn't gonna be built up as a result of doing all these nice guy things. This is why it's important to learn game. It's important to learn, you know, what kind of speech do you need to have? What kind of swag do you need to have? And I'm not saying you gotta be a whole different person, but what I'm saying is that realistically, in the attraction building process, you doing nice guy things is not going to necessarily attract women, but you knowing how to listen, you knowing how to have a fun time with them, how to make them laugh, you knowing how to be flirty, you knowing how to throw it down in the bedroom, those are things that are intangible, but that are gonna make women feel more things for you than just, oh, this nice guy got me flowers, just like the other nine guys that also got me flowers that I'm not dating anymore, okay? So, learn from this guy's mistakes, guy. You don't have to be this much of a simp in order to attract a woman. And also, also, don't think you're doing a good job at hiding your interest in any of these women that you're trying to hide it from. Because the comedian on stage here, he could tell, just like everybody else in the audience could tell, he's sitting all close to her, he's got the googly eye look in his face when he's talking about her, looking at her. Like, the world at large, including her, knows that you're interested. So, it's better for you to just be like, look, whether I'm getting her or not, she's gonna know I'm interested. I might as well ask her out on a date and see what's what. That way, if I, if I find out early I'm wasting my time, then I can get out now versus being stuck in a friendship where you're doing all these simp things and not getting the results that you want. 
Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Harry Dating Convos. Don't forget to visit harrywilmington.com to download my free ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. And while you're there, if you're ready to take things to the next level with your dating life, check out the Get Girls Academy membership program for exclusive strategies and live coaching. Go to harrywilmington.com to learn more and join today. Lastly, if you've got a question you'd like answered on one of these shows, leave a comment below or write me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. 